<laughs> I feel as though there was a, a serious look there between the forktail drongo and our buffalo. Bright and early, our forktail drongo is the ubiquitous bird that we see absolutely everywhere, following behind big herds of animal, whether they be impala or these buffalo bulls. And I'm quite disappointed actually because the ox peckers that were sitting on the back of our buffalo bull looking beautiful in the morning light were actually a species of ox pecker that we don't often get to see which was the yellow bull. Oh there he is. There you go have a look at that. Well try and have a look at that. <laughs> He's popped his head right behind the branch. There we go. Have a look at the yellow billed ox pecker as opposed to the red billed. There he is, combing through the buffalo's fur, a species that is, for ox peckers, endangered, or it was at least endangered. It's something that, through human intervention, has actually been reintroduced into the area, and the population has steadily grown since then. Slightly bigger than the red-billed ox pecker, with a much broader bill. And just like the fork-tailed drongo, in a different way, profiting from the buffalo's current presence, picking through its fur to remove any ticks or parasites that it might find as a very, very important food source. Shamsun, good morning and welcome to the Sunrise Safari, as always. Shamsun wants to know about the bald patches on the buffalo and whether or not they are a sign of bovine tuberculosis. Shamsun, no, although probably most of these buffalo will be carriers of a TB. And just have a look at those ticks that are embedded in the buffalo skin to give you an idea of what the ox picker are searching for. Those little round dots. If you look really closely, if you look really closely, you'll see little round dots, you'll see some flies, and you'll see some ticks moving about on the buffalo skin. They're not a sign of bovine tuberculosis necessarily. Buffalo are prone to skin diseases, as are giraffe out here, and of course the Styx cubs also demonstrating that they've got mange. In this case, it is most likely some kind of fungus that is affecting the buffalo's skin. Fungus are one of the many other skin diseases that they could get out here, one of which is a a sort of a, a type or a strain of the herpes virus which passes from animal to animal. It's much more common in giraffe but you do see it in buffalo as well.